Jesus loves you so much and his heart is for you. He is singing over you. And I want to share a word that I know is for many of you going to um, really break off some despair, despondency, some discouragement, even some numbness maybe that you're feeling in your walk with him. Those are all feelings and um, situations that people have to, the believer goes through, especially when you are seeking him, when you're crying out to him, and when you're trying to be in line with him and, and follow his way. Those are some common um, feelings that we go through. And so if you're feeling numb, if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling broken, like you can't, you don't know how to move forward, um, or physically there is no uh, natural pieces of the puzzle making sense to how to move forward. If you're in a scenario like that and you're crying out to the Lord, this word is for you. Um, and when I had this conversation with him, it broke off some, some serious lies that had kind of latched on to my mind in, in the past, you know, it, it, these lies come in so in such a sneaky way that they latch on and we think they're our own thoughts, but they're really lies from the enemy. And so I want to break some of those lies today and speak this over you. So the conversation that I had with the Lord um, I was feeling some numbness, some numbness of heart of Lord telling him, I want to have the desire. I want to have the passion. I want to be um, back to where I was, you know, a couple months ago when I was on fire, but I don't know how to get there. I don't know what to do to be where you want me to be. And immediately the Lord stopped me and he said, do you think that it's by what you do for me or what you bring to me that makes me love you? He said, I love you because you are mine. I love you because you are mine. And I wanted to speak that over you. The Lord, the Father loves you because you are his and there's no, there's no other strings attached with him. He's not like a person that says, um, you know, in small print, I'll stop loving you or I'll love you less or I'll love you more if you do A, B, and C for me, if you um, stay active in ministry or if you make sure you got to church today or if you um, don't fall back into that area of temptation or sin then I will love you more. No, those are all lies that we've learned from the performance mindset living in the world, but also from the enemy coming against our own mind. I just want to break that off of you today. Break that off of you and say the Lord loves you because and and no other reason because you are his, because you are his. He says, I love you because you are mine. And I pray that you'd be able to speak that over yourself and really let that soak in, especially on days or seasons where you feel like nothing, no matter how hard you try, you can't will yourself into being, you know, on fire or undistracted or um, as we would all like to be in perfectly following him. And those are all... Um, not what the Lord requires. The Lord wants us to come into a place of rest, knowing that he, hearing his voice saying, I love you because I love you because you are mine. And that's enough. And I want to just share something he showed me this morning during worship um, as our pastor this morning actually spoke on very similar topic to this. But as I was in worship, I saw, I, he took it further for me and unpacked it more. And he, he said, if you were to lay flat on your back for the rest of your days, whether because of despondency or because of a physical ailment or, or even just, just because you laid there for the rest of your days, my love for you would not change an, at all. And so activity and being able to bring something to God, whether it's a heart on fire or having it all together, or knowing exactly what to say, 
or having made having had the kind of day where you could say I'm I'm proud of this day I can go to God now no if you laid flat on your back for the rest of your days the Lord's love for you would remain and that is because his love comes from the place that you belong to him and so I just want to encourage you child of God that you are fully loved even if you didn't do a single thing or if your heart is feeling numb or broken or you don't know how to break free and and in your mind be worthy of his love let me just shut that lie up and cut cut it off right now and say you are loved right where you at right where you are at because you belong to him